Kashmiri, English, Kosora Kashor or Kashor, pronounced K Sir or K Sir, is a language from the Dardic subgroup of Indo Aryan languages and it is spoken primarily by the Kashmiris in the Kashmir Valley and Chenab Valley of Jammu and Kashmir. There are about 6.8 million speakers of Kashmiri and related dialects in Jammu and Kashmir state of India and amongst the Kashmiri diaspora in other states of India, and about 130,000 in the Neelam and Lipa valleys of Azad Kashmir, Pakistan. The Kashmiri language is one of the 22 scheduled languages of India, and is a part of the 8th schedule in the constitution of the Jammu and Kashmir. Along with other regional languages mentioned in the 6th schedule, as well as Hindi and Urdu, the Kashmiri language is to be developed in the state. Most Kashmiri speakers use Urdu or English as a second language. Since November 2008, the Kashmiri language has been made a compulsory subject in all government schools in the valley up to secondary level. Literature In 1919 George Abraham Grierson wrote that Kashmiri is the only one of the Dardic languages that has a literature. Kashmiri literature dates back to over 750 years, this is, more or less, the age of many a modern literature including modern English. Grammar Kashmiri is a fusional language with verb second B2, word order. Several of Kashmiri's grammatical features distinguish it from other Indo-Aryan languages. Nouns Kashmiri nouns are inflected according to gender, number and case. There are no articles, nor is there any grammatical distinction for definiteness, although there is some optional adverbial marking for indefinite or generic noun qualities. Gender the Kashmiri gender system is divided into masculine and feminine. Feminine forms are typically generated by the addition of a suffix, or in most cases, a morphophonemic change, or both, to a masculine noun. There is also a relatively small group of feminine nouns that have unique suppletion forms which are totally different from the corresponding masculine forms. The following table illustrates the range of possible gender forms. Some nouns borrowed from other languages, such as Persian, Arabic, Sanskrit, Hindi or English, follow a slightly different gender system. Notably, many words borrowed from Hindi have different genders in Kashmiri. Case There are five cases in Kashmiri, nominative, dative, ergative, ablative and vocative. Case is expressed via suffixation of the noun. Kashmiri utilizes an ergative absolutive case structure when the verb is in simple past tense. Thus, in these sentences, the subject of a transitive verb is marked in the ergative case and the object in nominative, which is identical to how the subject of an intransitive verb would be marked. However, in sentences constructed in any other tense, or in past tense sentences with intransitive verbs, a nominative dative paradigm is adopted, with objects, whether direct or indirect, generally marked in dative case. Other case distinctions, such as locative, instrumental, genitive, commutative, and allative, are marked by postpositions rather than suffixation. Noun morphology the following table illustrates Kashmiri noun declension according to gender, number and case. Verbs Kashmiri verbs are declined according to tense and person, and to a lesser extent, gender. Tense, along with certain distinctions of aspect, is formed by the addition of suffixes to the verb stem, minus the infinitive ending on, and in many cases by the addition of various modal auxiliaries. Postpositions fulfill numerous adverbial and semantic roles. Tense Present tense in Kashmiri is an auxiliary construction formed by a combination of the copula and the imperfective suffix and added to the verb stem. The various copula forms agree with their subject according to gender and number, and are provided below with the verb yun, to come. Past tense in Kashmiri is significantly more complex than the other tenses, and is subdivided into three past tense distinctions. The simple, sometimes called proximate, past refers to past actions which have been completed. Remote past refers to actions that lack this inbuilt perfective aspect. 
Indefinite past refers to actions performed a long time ago, and is often used in historical narrative or storytelling contexts, as described above. Kashmiri is a split ergative language. In all three of these past tense forms, the subjects of transitive verbs are marked in the ergative case and direct objects in the nominative. Intransitive subjects are marked in the nominative. Nominative arguments, whether subjects or objects, dictate gender, number and person marking on the verb. Verbs of the simple past tense are formed via the addition of a suffix to the verb stem, which usually undergoes certain uniform morphophonemic changes. First and third person verbs of this type do not take suffixes and agree with the nominative object in gender and number, but there are second person verb endings. The entire simple past tense paradigm of transitive verbs is illustrated below using the verb parent. To read. There is a group of special intransitives, irregular intransitive verbs which take a different set of endings in addition to the morphophonemic changes that affect most past tense verbs. Intransitive verbs in the simple past are conjugated the same as intransitives in the indefinite past tense form. In contrast to the simple past, verb stems are unchanged in the indefinite and remote past, although the addition of the tense suffixes does cause some morphophonetic change. Transitive verbs are declined according to the following paradigm. As in the simple past, special intransitive verbs take a different set of endings in the indefinite and remote past. Regular intransitive verbs also take a different set of endings in the indefinite and remote past, subject to some morphophonetic variation. Future tense intransitive verbs are formed by the addition of suffixes to the verb stem. The future tense of transitive verbs, however, is formed by the addition of suffixes which agree with both the subject and direct object according to number, in a complex fashion. Aspect there are two main aspectual distinctions in Kashmiri, perfective and imperfective. Both employ a participle formed by the addition of a suffix to the verb stem, as well as the fully conjugated auxiliary a son, to be, which agrees according to gender, number and person with the object for transitive verbs, or the subject for intransitive verbs, like the auxiliary. The participle suffix used with the perfective aspect, expressing completed or concluded action, agrees in gender and number with the object for transitive verbs, or subject for intransitives, as illustrated below. The imperfective expressing habitual or progressive action is simpler, taking the participle suffix and in all forms, with only the auxiliary showing agreement. A type of iterative aspect can be expressed by reduplicating the imperfective participle. Pronouns Pronouns are declined according to person, gender, number and case, although only third-person pronouns are overtly gendered. Also in third person, a distinction is made between three degrees of proximity, called proximate, remote I and remote II. There is also a dedicated genitive pronoun set, in contrast to the way that the genitive is constructed adverbially elsewhere. As with future tense, these forms agree with both the subject and direct object in person and number. Adjectives there are two kinds of adjectives in Kashmiri, those which agree with their referent noun, according to case, gender and number, and those which are not declined at all. Most adjectives are declined, and generally take the same endings and gender-specific stem changes as nouns. The declinable adjective endings are provided in the table below, using the adjective wazal, red. Among those adjectives which are not declined are adjectives ending in lad or a, adjectives borrowed from other languages, and a few isolated irregulars. The comparative and superlative forms of adjectives are formed with the words tsor, more, and sitha, most, respectively. Vocabulary There are minor differences between the Kashmiri spoken by Hindus and Muslims. For fire. A traditional Hindu will use the word agun while a Muslim more often will use the Arabic word nar. Preservation of Old Indo-Aryan Vocabulary Kashmiri retains several features of Old Indo-Aryan that have been lost in other modern Indo-Aryan languages such as Hindi-Urdu, Punjabi and Sindhi. 
Some vocabulary features that Kashmiri preserves clearly date from the Vedic Sanskrit era and had already been lost even in classical Sanskrit. This includes the word form yodbhai, meaning if, which is mainly found in Vedic Sanskrit texts. Classical Sanskrit and modern Indo-Aryan use instead the word yadi. First person pronoun both the Indo-Aryan and Iranian branches of the Indo-Iranian family have demonstrated a strong tendency to eliminate the distinctive first-person pronoun I used in the nominative subject case. The Indo-European root for this is reconstructed as asterisk igham, which is preserved in Sanskrit as aham and in Avestan Persian as azam. This contrasts with the M form me, my, that is used for the accusative, genitive, dative, ablative cases. Sanskrit and Avestan both used forms such as ma, m. However, in languages such as modern Persian, Baluchi, Hindi and Punjabi, the distinct nominative form has been entirely lost and replaced with m in words such as ma, n and my. However, Kashmiri belongs to a relatively small set that preserves the distinction. I is ba, bai, bo in various Kashmiri dialects, distinct from the other me terms. Mind is Mayun in Kashmiri. Other Indo-Aryan languages that preserve this feature include Dogri, An versus Mi, Gujarati, Hu N versus Mari, Konkani, H V versus M Hazo, and Braj, How M versus My M. The Iranian Pashto preserves it too, Za versus Ma. Phonology Kashmiri has the following vowel phonemes. Vowels Consonants Archaisms Kashmiri, as also the other Dardic languages, shows important divergences from the Indo-Aryan mainstream. One is the partial maintenance of the three sibilant consonants SSS of the old Indo-Aryan period. For another example, the prefixing form of the number 2 which is found in Sanskrit as dvi, has developed into ba, bai in most other Indo-Aryan languages, but do in Kashmiri preserving the original dental stop d. 72 is dusadath in Kashmiri, bahadur in Hindi Urdu and Punjabi, and divisadati in Sanskrit. Certain features in Kashmiri even appear to stem from Indo-Aryan even predating the Vedic period. For instance, there was an s greater than h consonant shift in some words that had already occurred with Vedic Sanskrit. This tendency is even stronger in the Iranian branch of Indo-Iranian, yet is lacking in Kashmiri equivalents. The word rahit in Vedic Sanskrit and modern Hindi Urdu, meaning excluding or without, corresponds to rost in Kashmiri. Similarly, say it meaning including or with corresponds to sost in Kashmiri. Writing system There are three orthographical systems used to write the Kashmiri language, the Sharada script, the Devanagari script and the Perso-Arabic script. The Roman script is also sometimes informally used to write Kashmiri, especially online. The Kashmiri language is traditionally written in the Sharada script after the 8th century AD. This script however, is not in common use today, except for religious ceremonies of the Kashmiri Pandits, today it is written in Perso-Arabic and Devanagari scripts with some modifications. Among languages written in the Perso-Arabic script, Kashmiri is one of the very few which regularly indicates all vowel sounds. The Kashmiri Perso-Arabic script has come to be associated with Kashmiri Muslims, while the Kashmiri Devanagari script has come to be associated with the Kashmiri Hindu community. Perso-Arabic alphabet Consonants The digraphs of aspirated consonant are as follow. Vowels Devanagari Consonants Vowels there have been two Unicode proposals, L2-09-369 and L2-08-250, for Devanagari Kashmiri vowels with different vowel characters, ordering and vowel mark characters. The latest proposal, L2-09-369, is tabulated below. The earlier proposal, L2-08-250, is tabulated below. 
See also Shina language Dardic languages List of topics on the land and the people of Jammu and Kashmir List of Kashmiri poets States of India by Kashmiri speakers Kashmiri Wikipedia Kashmir Valley references Further reading chapter on Indo-Persian literature in Kashmir and The Rise, Growth and Decline of Indo-Persian Literature by R. M. Chopra, 2012, published by Iran Culture House, New Delhi, 2nd edition 2013. Cole, Amkar N. and Kashi Wali Modern Kashmiri Grammar Hyattsville, Dunwoody Press, 2006. External links Modern Kashmiri Dictionary, Android-based Electronic Kashmiri Dictionary Grierson, George Abraham. A Dictionary of the Kashmiri Language. Calcutta, Asiatic Society of Bengal, 1932. Hook, Peter E., 1976. Is Kashmiri an SVO language? Indian Linguistics 37-133-142. Lexical Borrowings in Kashmiri by Ashok K. Cole Delhi, Indian Institute of Language Studies, 2008. Kashore, An Introduction to Spoken Kashmiri Dictionary of Kashmiri Proverbs Son Miraz. Leading Kashmiri Language Newspaper